Finley coming off a huge win against Perrysburg. Could they get another against Northview? Well, I hope you tuned in in time. 49 seconds in, ball sent into the box, bounces around and finds the back of the net, courtesy of Lila Mayer, and it's one nothing Wildcats. We're on pace for roughly 80 goals in this one, right? Not so fast. It's still one nothing at the half. Ball sent ahead to Ava Barneski. Huge save by Zoe McCormick. Still 1-0 later in the second. Trojans, Lexi Schwab fires on net. Allie Biggs, big save, and that's how it ends. 1-0 the final. Northview claims the district crown. Um, I think it's just important for us to go hard in practice and play our game going forward, be confident, consistent, and intense in practice and in the following games. Um, against Ashland, our first half, we didn't really play our game very well, so going into this game, it was important for us to keep possession, play our game, play how we want, and be confident. CC Lutz is back. So are Mason Lowry and Nick Smith. Well, Finley came in as the darlings of the district, having bounced third-ranked Perrysburg 1-0 in the district semifinal. But any hope they might have had of pulling off another upset ended after 49 seconds. It did. Northview came out on fire here to start this game and they were rewarded with a goal inside the opening minute and that really set the tone for the rest of the game because Northview is such a strong team such such a, a good team in moments of possession that once they get that lead that's where they want to be playing from and it's always going to be difficult for Finley to come back yeah they probably should have had a second and third goal in fact they had a second goal rolled out for offside still in the first half but to your point Northview is comfortable and confident and composed on the ball and at the back as anybody in the area they really only need that one goal to hold up in advance. They do, and one of the questions that Northview has all season long is where the goal's coming from. And so for them to get that early goal, all the weight is off their shoulders now, and now they can just play and do the things that they do really well. And you saw in particular at the start of the second half here tonight, they got the ball down and they moved it from side to side. They made Finley do a lot of chasing, which meant that by the end of the game, Finley's legs were the tired legs. And Finley wasn't the team that was pushing for the goal, but it was actually Northview who was the team that was growing as that second half went on. And ultimately, they were unlucky really not to get a second and a third tonight. Hit the crossbar in the second half, had a goal ruled out in the first half for, for being called offside. But overall, just a really strong performance from Northview. It was great to see CeCe Lutz back as well. She'd been out for the better part of a few weeks. Such a dynamic player. What kind of extra dimension does that give Northview going into regional week? Uh, CeCe Lutz is a huge player for this Northview program. Obviously, being a senior, she's a captain on the program. She's just a leader. She's been been there. She's done that. She's seen this level before. She's played in these games before. And then you add her quality, her technical quality on the ball, in particular for how Northview wants to play. She's a player that's confident on the ball. She's a player that's comfortable with the ball at her feet. And as much as you can get those players on the field, you're going to be that much more dynamic. And to have her come back now at this time for Northview is huge because now we're at the business end of the season, right? And so every game is must win or the season is over. Mm -hmm. So to have your best be out out there and be eligible to play for you to be be back and be healthy is huge for Northview. So in the end, that early goal from Lila Mayer, the freshman, holds up. Northview advances, taking out Finley 1-0 in the district final.